All right, people. Today, we are going to cook egg bars. We are going to cook egg bars and hockey. This are the egg bars. So some people say this tastes like liver. Some say it tastes like kidney. But today, we are going to find out for ourselves. Waiting for the Ramish. My chef. We even have a cookout that come up March 17. See that? Whole heap of things we have for the menu. We have octopus hot dog. A hot dog for the right here, sir. We have the octopus hot dog peeps. We have hockey and sea kong, pineapple jerk pork. All kind of things I got the pony menu peeps. Sweet and so a crap. It's a March 17. Right around the corner. Free sold tickets of the 1700. And when you come company there, that are 2,000 peeps. Long time you know so you want to taste the cooking, so see it ya? And you finally get a chance. So this will be keeping in Reespen, Greater Portmore, right on Reespen Mego Park, right which for the cash part sale. You can order on a ticket online by this number. So order on a ticket now peeps, roll out and support. I see the hog bars there, man. So with the hog bars and hockey, we are going to cook Kneesberry roti. Yeah, so now just stay tuned, watch the whole video and look what I want. Right around it, it have like a thick skin But I know say if you cook this, it's going to be gummy So I want to remove the skin This is really soft and delicate So we really don't want to mash it up Look at that, it's like liver When I'm stripping away the skin Like everything is just breaking up My gosh, this is really soft Take your time and rip off the skin Just like so Oh yo people Right here sir we have egg bars, nice and strip. I even watched some videos with people eating this raw. The only thing they use are some soy sauce and dip it in the soy sauce and eat it. Bizarre food. It smells just like liver. So see it here? As I said peeps, this is really raw. It smells really like liver but when I said times two or times three, it smells raw. But nevertheless, it might taste even better than the liver. We are going to rinse it nice and proper. Yeah, yeah. So right about now, we are seasoning up with egg bars. We are going to season this with some garlic, you know. We are using some things that we know so we are going to cut the rawness. We talk about garlic, we talk about pepper, then something there, cut rawness. And right here we got some blend jerk season and some complete season. We are going to rub this up nice and proper. And as I say, we are going to roast this. Roast the egg bars then. This is the fire where we are going to roast the pig bars. We want to make sure the fire is not too high. And we are burn up the pig bars then. Wipe off a grill. Make sure it's say grill nice and clean. We have an iron screw. This we use for barbecue and grilling. So we are gonna do shove the pig bars through it, just like this. Oh yeah. Make sure it go in nice and properly. We make sure it's say not drop off. We are gonna put all four pieces on this right now. Pig bars kebab. So the part of we are gonna wall, we are gonna just leave this kind of hang off a little bit. It smell like roast chicken. This right here smell like roast chicken. It smell real good with all of that seasoning, pepper, everything. Garlic, my gosh. Alright. We are just turning now. Oh yeah. Just look at that man. You see it has sweating a drip and all of that liquid that dropping on the fire. Smell good, you see? Right here we have a hockey them. So I clean them up nice and proper. So even though I'm in them call it Aki Boss, me never know say you yeah, they have two types of Aki. You used to think I just one type of Aki and I just this. But if you check it out, I actually two types of Aki. But all Aki look the same still in you know? But you have butter Aki and you have regular Aki. Them right here so look like the butter Aki because them soft. These, them cook easy and cook fast. Alright, alright. You can smell the Aki Boss them, you know? Almost ready. You see Aki Boss them there? Nice and ready, juicy. Just can't wait for cut this up and put in our aki. Hey, this tastes real good. It tastes like liver and chicken together. It tastes real nice. See me? Salt up a pot. We are going with the aki. So usually, you have to put the aki in a boiling water. If you put the aki in a cold water, it now go cook fast enough. It's going to just sit there and some are going to cook before some. So you want to make sure you see a pot hot. Knees very roti. So, we are going to use the inside of the Kneesberry. Look at the skin going there, that's fine. The Kneesberry skin is edible. We are going to remove the seed them. First, we just get all of the Kneesberry in there. Nice and easy. Boss it. Squeeze. Just take your time and look through there nicely. I want to make sure it's all fine. 
Oh, I like to see them. Look the skin getting there, that's fine. The skin is edible. The aki is just about ready. When I'm making aki, I don't like to overcook it. I don't like to boil it too long. I'm not like when the aki soft and plaka plaka. It's been boiling for about 10 minutes. And that is good. So I'm going with some flour. Add enough to make sure so when he's working, distribute through that. Going with some sugar. Lastly, for the dry ingredient, some salt. You can see the steam, but at the same time, in a boiling hot for bun whip. So we are going to gradually add this to a flour to make the roti. Next up, we are going to add the knees berry. Nice and proper. We are going with some cooking oil. Hot water is really essential when making roti. Yeah, the cooking oil makes it flexible. And the hot water also helps with flexibility as well. So add some of that. The warm water. We gradually add that. And this right here is still kind of hot. So meanwhile while needing this, you can smell the kneesberry already. Now just stay tuned and look what I'm going. Okay. So, the kneesberry roasted already. Mm. You can taste that kneesberry already. So we're going to just put this down. Make it rest. I mean, while we're going to cut up a vegetable. So, before we cut up a vegetable, we're going to wash them nice and proper. So, right here, we got onion, bell pepper, scallion, thyme, scotch bonnet. You see the hog bars there, eh? I know much, but you have to work with it. You cut up the hog bars in a smaller piece. This piece it tastes real good, especially when you season it with the garlic and pepper. So, right now, we are fry up a vegetable, them. Nice and proper. My gosh, man, let's put in the vegetable, them, sir. A piece of aroma just lit me. I love smell vegetable when it's fried. We're going to cook this till the vegetables are nice and soft. We call this process saute. So as soon as the vegetables are nice and soft, we just add the egg bars, mix it up, add the aki, add the seasoning, and we're ready. Well, yeah. Boom. I'll add in the pork bars. Aki and pork bars, peeps. And crush one. I'll just give this a good mix, just like so. Same time, just turn down the fire. Add the ake. I season this with some black pepper. I cook my ake. Black pepper is a must for me. We are going with some garlic. And now we are going to use a salt base. We are using some fajita season. When I cook ake, I like when the ake them mash out and plaka plaka. So, I mix it up and mash it up. I just gently fold it like this so you can get everything combined and distributed. And as you see it, very easy and simple. We just have to cook this like for the next three to five minutes. Right here, sir. We have a shrimp, them. But yo, you know what we are gonna make? We are gonna make some kneesberry roast shrimp. So we are gonna wash this first with some vinegar and start grill it right away. Kneesberry roast shrimp. This is going to taste so good. I can promise you know that the kneesberry tastes good for me. The other day, I make some kneesberry jerk pork. I mean, I tell you, man, that's one of the best jerk pork I ever eat. The kneesberry roast shrimp here definitely are gonna taste amazing. See there? Yeah. So we are seasoned up with shrimp nice and proper. Right here we have some garlic powder. Now we'll talk about seafood, we'll talk about garlic, you know. See that lovely. And we're going with some pepper. We're going to use some salt. Just plain salt. Nice and proper way of seasoning it, you know. Never a dull moment when we are cooking around here. Never. And right here, sir, we have some jerk sauce. Barbecue jerk sauce. Can add some of that. Now we're going to mix up this baby. And right away, we're ready for putting on the grill. So we're start from the back. Come up. Just like that. Why are All right, shrimp them ready. I see kneesberry here. I already clean up and thing, mash out. So we're gonna use this for sauce. The first thing we're going with is some water. Just like that, we don't want to use too much because we don't have much kneesberry. We're going with the kneesberry. Some sugar. Just like so. We're use some vinegar. What you guys say? So when we make the sauce, we really have a special order for other things them. Just want to make sure that so everything add. I want to make everything boil up. I'm going with a little bit of chili flake. 
Not much, because seafood we are dealing with. We talk about seafood, we talk about spice, some salt. The last thing we are going to add, our ketchup. Right about now, we are just mix this up. Bring it up to temperature. As soon as we see the steam coming out of the air, we just add the ketchup. Oh yeah. Full of flavor already, that Neesberry is so strong. Where's your go on? My white girl, them. You say, white girl, them, I go crazy for you, chef. You know what I mean, man? Which is right. Pot a bubble, pot a bubble. You are going to say now, boom, and add the ketchup. Alright, about now, we just going to cook this like for the next 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how high the fire is. You just want this to get thick or rich. We have a Neesberry sauce ready. Right about now, we are add the shrimp, them. Neesberry roast shrimp. Right after this, and the Neesberry roti. You see it there? My gosh, man. And I want thing with the Neesberry sauce, you know? the Neesberry strong. So, right about now, we just mix up this, turn off a fire. Cover him up and we're done. So we have this a rest for a while, a long long while, so you know so this well rested. So what we are gonna do, we are gonna do the roti them, pot cover style. So basically, we are gonna fry the roti them on the pot cover. You know, if you use the pot cover, you can also use a frying pan, you know, any flat surface. Make sure say it does the surface with flour. Just like that. We are gonna dust the rolling pin because we want to stick up on the rolling pin. Get peace. Just like so, fold him up in himself. This way we can keep it round. Just rest him down. And now roll. So, when making roti, we just want to make sure that it is nice and flat. You can't go wrong with the roti as long as the roti flat. Continually dust this so the roti does stick on the rolling pin. If you look on the roti, you can see the piece piece of Neesberry in it. If you look, you can see some of the Neesberry skin. So, I think some of the Neesberry skin was a good idea because it helped bring out the vibrantness of the roti. The colors, you know, the look overall. So this look real good. I mean, no say, it's got taste even better. The right here, so the fire too high for roti. So just have the outing done just like so. Cool down the pot cover. Right here, sir, the pot cover will at. We have some coconut oil. So add that and grease the pot cover nice and proper. We just want to make sure, sir, the pot cover will at. Will at. And we are just going to boom. Add the roti on the pot cover. As you see, I want to make sure, see the roti nice and thin. And as we put it on the pot cover, sir, you notice, you start to see the bubbles them are firm. Roti don't take long for cook. So you can't take like a four minutes to cook one roti. You burn that bun up. We just have to make this tape on the fire for a couple of seconds and then we'll flip it the same time. It's so about 20 seconds in and we are just going to so. boom and flip it. So I give it like the next 15 seconds on the next side and we're ready. And just like that my peeps, roti ready. Easy does it. So yeah, the same process. First 20 seconds, then we'll flip it and then give it like a next 15 to the next 20 seconds. So again peeps, we have the cookout around the corner. You know, real short notice for the YouTube but yeah, the cookout has come up. We'll leave our creative things are there on the menu. We don't have a bag on the menu. But yeah, we'll leave our creative things are there on the menu, peeps. Can I just look out for it? Stay tuned and look out. Maybe not do a YouTube video. Live video, YouTube video shoot for the cookout. So now just subscribe and look out for that. Roti ready. Not even 15 seconds on the next side, but as I said, they're not take long for fry. I see it there. What we are doing right now, just to add up back everything. Now we'll plate it and show you guys. Oh yeah, these are the Neesberry Rush. Right here, sir. We have the Aki and Pig Buzz. <laughs> so these are the Neesberry Shrimp. And as I said, the Neesberry, it tastes real good with meat. You know, if you try it for yourself, you know me at all, but the Neesberry is just powerful, but you know, overpowering. It tastes so good. Right here, sir, the Neesberry Roti. You can taste that Neesberry right throughout the Roti. You know the knees very skin and all of that. My roti look nice and vibrant. And these are the aki and pig balls. It sounds weird, but me I tell you, it tastes real good. It tastes like kidney, but when it roast, it smells like jerk chicken. That garlic, that pepper, all of that. The combination just make this taste so good. If you give somebody this for it, 
They want to tell you to see a kidney people or a liver. It tastes real good. 